Welcome to a week of workouts with me. I wanna bring you guys along. I work out five days a week at the gym doing a booty builder program. So I found this program for free on some YouTube channel. I'll link it down below. And it's essentially to build your booty over 12 weeks. It changes every four weeks. And the week I'm taking you guys along with is week nine. So I have all new workouts this week. So I was learning right along with you guys in this video what moves I was doing. And if you guys don't know, I also do a little bit of cycle syncing. So I am in my follicular phase in this video, which means I'm starting to lift heavier as I approach ovulation. So come along with me for my workout. Starting off Monday, I'm just making some pre-workout. I like to switch between drinking pre-workout or just drinking like half a Celsius or something like that. And I never do a full scoop. I currently am wearing Crocs because I have some socks in the mail I'm excited to wear. If you're looking for new socks, I heard that this Hue brand on Amazon are some of the best socks. They're like the mini crew socks. Let's try them on. I hope they actually like are tight on my foot. I hate when they're loose. Oh my gosh, yes. These fit so good. I love 10 out of 10. I also just about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, got the Ghost 15 Brooks. My Hokos were like dead and I needed some new shoes. I think I'm officially now a Brooks girl. Let me show you the, the look. That's so cute. I start every single one of my workouts with a little warm up on the treadmill. I might walk at an incline or walk fast or just chat with my friends, usually between five and 15 minutes. And then sometimes I'll end my workout with the same thing. I like to read while I walk as well. And this is a great time to get down my pre-workout or energy drink or whatever. And I also always start my workouts with dynamic stretching, which is more of like mobility. You're moving while stretching rather than stagnant stretching just to warm up those muscles. Monday starts off with a booty and leg day. I also have been having knee problems so I am doing some knee stretches and I'm, my knees are feeling a lot better so it works. This workout starts off with some front foot elevated lunges. So I just have 10 pound dumbbells and this is a thousand times harder than it looks. I was actually dying. Any single leg movement I just really struggle with but they're so good for you. It's also supposed to be booty focused so I was trying to lean forward a little bit and really pull with that glute. A lot of workouts is about mind muscle connection. Muscle mind connection whatever it's called and then we're gonna go from that straight into some deadlifts we're just doing like a classic deadlift i forget what this is actually called romania deadlift i think where you're gripping outside of your legs and you know we're not doing a wide stance or anything like that i'm still working on my deadlift form i'm still working on my form on a lot of stuff so i'm not really pushing myself on weight too much but this was a little heavier than i normally do i have 25s on each side and it was pretty heavy i was kind of dying but i was feeling strong feeling good about myself trying to focus on that form i cannot express to you guys how much form is so important way more important than how much weight you are pulling then we are moving into cable hip abductors this is a new move for me but i really Really liked it and then we do some frog pumps with a weight on there the frog pumps I'm doing more like 30 reps with a low weight everything else I am doing 8 to 10 reps for three sets and then like I said just cooling down with some treadmill I'll do some incline sometimes I'll do the stairmaster sometimes I literally go on a run outside of the track I like to get in a little bit of cardio as well every day along with all of my workouts I will sometimes go on walks or go on runs whether that's right after or with a friend later I've also been doing a lot of summer activities like pickleball swimming going to yoga so I do live a very active lifestyle especially now that it is summer but I like going to the gym first thing when I wake up just to get my day going it makes me feel more energized Tuesday gym Fit. Nothing crazy. Just a little tank top, shorts, shoes. Let's go. I don't have very many cute workout clothes. When I go to the gym, I'm just I'm just going. I'm just happy that I'm going, okay? Tuesday is an upper body day. I started with my walk and then doing some good dynamic stretches. Also kind of stretching out my legs because they're a little bit tight from the day before. Really just waking up my body, getting ready to go. So we are starting with some standing overhead press. Once again, we're doing three sets of eight to 10. I've been working on progressive overload, which is essentially where once you can do 10 reps of a weight, you go up in the weight and then try to do eight reps. Then we are doing seated cable row, trying to focus on that mid and upper back. These, This is a move that I'm still somewhat getting used to. I like this wider grip. I feel like I can feel it more in my back rather than just pulling with my arms. Once again, we are doing three sets of eight to 10. And then we are just doing some classic push-ups. I think I was doing about 12 here. To progressive overload and body movements, you just 
do more reps. So I was doing about 12, trying to keep my elbows in and focus on that form, squeezing everything real tight. And guys, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with how good my push-ups look. I've been working on those. Then we are doing an inverted row. This was a new move for me, but I was liking it. And once again, we're just gonna do three sets of 10 here. And we wrap up our workout with lying incline lateral raises. This exercise has been on this workout plan a lot. I think it helps with the back because to make your butt seem bigger, you actually can work out your back to give you that kind of hourglass look. We decided to wrap up our workout with a run outside, but I'm not gonna run around with my camera. So just know we're running. Why am I doing a heart? I don't know. Now it is Wednesday, which means it is another leg day. We do three leg days. Now I didn't follow the program to a T on this one because sometimes I just don't like the moves that it offers, but it does offer some alternates that you can swap out. So I did my dynamic stretches and then I decided I was just gonna start the day with some squats. I personally love doing squats and I've been working towards getting stronger on my squats. My max right now is 165, but I typically will do about like 35s to 45s on each side when I'm actually not trying to hit my max, but I'm trying to work up to where every single time I do squats, I can have plates on each side, which is 135. Oh, look who I ran into. <laughs> what time is it? Whoa, 9.17 a.m. Let's go. After that pleasant surprise of running into my brother at the gym, we are doing hip thrusts. I never do barbell hip thrusts just because the amount of time it takes to set it up, I just don't find worth it. It is so much work. We have these hip thrust machines. I feel like they work just as much. My booty's on fire at the end. So we're just doing three sets of 10 of these hip thrusts. Now these were actually deadly because we were doing one and a fourth reps which made it seem like I was doing a thousand of them. Then we're doing these donkey kickbacks. This one, I was using a machine because the program wanted me to be like laying down, but I personally love cable kickbacks the most, so I'll probably swap those out next time. Then it suggested banded hip abductions, but I didn't have bands, so we just did the hip abductor machine. And once again, all of these, just three sets of 10. If it's a one leg movement, I do 10 on each leg. I finally got good sleep last night. I'm feeling so good, ready for the gym. And us and the girlies talked. We're all gonna try to wear skirts today. It's upper body day, so I'm not worried about like bending over or whatever. So a little fit check. I think it's so cute. I got a little yellow Halara skirt my mom gave this to me. Uh, the top is from, I believe, Old Navy. And then my Brooks and my Hue socks from Amazon. Starting day four Thursday with some treadmill walking to warm up. And my favorite is bench press. I love to do bench press. My max on bench press is I think 95, but I can only do that for like two reps. So I'm slowly building up and not really focusing so much on a PR, but we do this for three sets of eight to 10. Once again, just working on that progressive overload. And when doing these movements, we usually do spot each other or this one actually has those little ropes. So if you drop it, you know, you're not gonna drop it on yourself. That is followed by some seated dumbbell shoulder presses. Once again, we're doing three sets of eight to 10. And then we did some pull-ups. I use the assisted machine because I cannot do a pull-up. Absolutely not. And we only do five of those. Those are really hard. This is called rear delt cable fly. This is one of my absolute favorite back workouts. It feels so good. This one, I'm actually doing three sets of 15 and going a little bit lighter on the weight. That's just what the program calls for. And then it was a long day and the gym was packed, so we didn't get to it, but we were supposed to do a dumbbell chest supported row as well. It's Friday, the last day of our workout week. We are going with t-shirt vibes today. <sighs> and I hurt my back yesterday because I took one of my cats in their backpack on a two mile walk and that thing was like digging into my back. This, it's like hard right here. So I kind of have some back pain, so I might have to take it easy today, but we're gonna have a good day. Friday, day five, we are doing another leg day, starting off with some back squats. Once again, I love to do squats. And I think I was doing three sets of eight here, trying to build up on that weight, followed by some hip thrusts. Once again, three sets of eight to 10, really squeezing that booty. And then we did weighted 45 degree hyperextensions. I say weighted because the program says weighted, but I did not do weighted. And it wants me to do 30 of them and that's just not happening. I can barely do 10 without weight. So we're working on it. Still working on my form and trying to get this one down. It's a new movement for me. And I did adjust it after this to be in the right position, but I didn't get a video of it. And then my absolute favorite is the kickbacks. I am a kickback lover. So we were doing 12 on each side, three sets. The booty cheeks are burning. Right? 
And that is the entire workout. You can watch me take photos of myself now. Vibes are high. Workout week is over. Hair is a mess. Might be a wash day. <sighs> Y'all, we did it. That was week nine of me consistently on a program in the gym. Um, my eating has gotten much better over this course of nine weeks. I started tracking my calories at about week five or six. But then I had an off week because I had family in town. This week I've done all right. We'll get back into the nutrition next week, which I'll probably film a what I eat in a week tracking my macros. I'm basically just doing high protein, high fat, low carb because for me that's just the best thing. That's that's just always worked for me. Not necessarily keto. It doesn't have to be keto, but like I basically cut carbs to cut calories. Once I'm out of my deficit, I will eat carbs again. Um, anyways, I feel like I'm just now starting to see some results. I've got a little bit of muscle definition. I'm not going to show you because you can barely tell. This is for me only, okay? But catch me in a year and I'll be looking different. This is the first time in my life with my fitness journey, working out nutrition, that I've been like, oh, there's no set end goal. I'm just doing it to better my health. And if it takes a year or two years to get like the body I want, then so be it. I'm really just trying to get healthy and feel my best and lose weight so I feel more confident. So that is it for this video for my workout week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.